Yeah, hello. Today I want to show you how to install one of these USB charger outlets. You can use these, for example, to uh, charge your smartphone or uh, any other USB powered device. Okay, but um, let us start out with the two things we need to consider here. And first is safety. And so the first thing we really need to do is to turn off the breaker that is powering this outlet. You find this breaker in your breaker box and you're going to switch this switch to the off position. And it's always safer to also check the outlet itself. If you have one of these multimeters, then you can just check it with that. If you don't happen to have one of these, then you can also just plug in a small lamp or radio or something, turn it on. And then when you switch the breaker to off, then the light should turn off by itself. Okay, so then the next thing we have to consider is the correct type of outlet. So you see here up here in the corner, it says 20A, that stands for 20 amp. And that means that this outlet is made for a 20 amp circuit and you need to check on your breaker switch what kind of amperage your circuit has. So here in my case you see this is a 20 amp circuit which is why I have here this 20 amp outlet. In case you have a 15 amp outlet then you need a, sm a slightly different type. Um, you can check also check your outlet that is already installed in your wall if it's a 15 or a, or a 20 amp outlet. The 20 amp outlet has these little cutouts on the left side here. But now let's get started. So we're taking here a regular screwdriver and we begin by removing the faceplate which is held in place by these little screws here on the top and the bottom. Those should go out really easy and then we just take the faceplate off and underneath there we see two additional screws that hold the outlet in place and we also remove those two which allows us to pull out the outlet just a little bit and uh, we can just pull it out a little bit enough or just enough to uh, get access here to the uh, wires and you see here this the bare ground wire and then this white neutral and then here on the other side, there's a black wire that is the hot. And since we are, we've made sure that the power is turned off, we can just take the screwdriver and start unscrewing those three wires and just remove the entire outlet. And now we take our new USB charger outlet and take it out of the box. And let's take a look how this looks like. And so we check out the back side and there you see the green for ground and then the silver screw here is for neutral and this brass color that's for the hot wire. And there's two different ways how you can install the wire here. Uh, one is by uh, wrapping it around the screw here and the second way is by pushing it into one of these holes here and so if you want to push it into the holes which is probably the easiest method then you just take a look at this measurement gauge here which shows you how much of the insulation you are su supposed to remove and I'm showing you this here and then you just stick it into one of those two slots and you use your screwdriver to tighten the screw and that will hold the wire in place. Or the second alternative method is by just wrapping it around the screw itself and you're supposed to wrap the wire around the screw in a clockwise direction. So here with the black wire you see this is counterclockwise, this is wrong. And then here the neutral one, this is clockwise and this is correct. Okay, so let me attach all three wires here. So the neutral, the black, and 
the uh, ground and I'm installing those as mentioned before in a clockwise direction. And now it is time to carefully push the outlet back into the wall. Make sure that uh, no wires get loose by accident and it's all safe in there. And then we uh, screw the uh, two screws, the one on the top and the one on the bottom back in. And you do that as far as the that the uh, metal plate is like flush with the wall and then we reattach the cover plate and uh, don't screw in those those two screws too too hard or too much uh, it's kind of fragile and you might uh, crack the plate and then we can also turn the uh, breaker back on and if everything went well then now we can uh, charge the uh, phone with a USB port or you can also charge other devices at the same time like here for example I am charging my headphones. Alright so uh, yeah I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions and leave a comment below and otherwise uh, you know, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other YouTube videos.